And here is my very first little polythemus caterpillar that hatched out of the 13 little eggs that this female laid. This is the only one that has hatched so far. Look at that little guy, he's so cute! He's so tiny. So small. Hopefully he likes the leaf. I hope. Maple is one of the leaves that they eat off of, so let's hope that uh, he actually likes it. A bunch more have started hatching today. So yesterday was Mother's Day and one hatched, this one right here at the front. Now we have one that is currently hatching that's so cool. These are polythemus moth caterpillars, so a silk moth. I just got back from a local park with a whole bunch. Oh, this one's hatching too. That's so cool. Um, I just got back with a whole bunch of different leaves for them to try that they will eat on. There's 13 eggs in here, and I'm hoping that all of them hatch. This is going to be so cool. But uh, one so far looks like it is eating on the maple, but the first one that hatched didn't have any interest in the maple, so I got some willow leaves, some oak leaves, and then I found this random leaf that I'm going to try to figure out what tree that's from, and then this one over here. But this one does not seem impressed by any choice that I make with leaves, so I'm hoping that I can figure out something that it'll eat. I'm going to try to stick this oak leaf in front of it. When I was reading online, one person said they had best luck with getting them to eat from oak leaves, so I specifically tried to seek out an oak, but all the oak trees they had trimmed to where I could reach hardly any branches, so all these are pretty young oak leaves, so hopefully they'll eat them still. But yeah, this one here is the one that likes the maple at least. So the maple tree I have right next door, so that's going to be easy to harvest from, but uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll pick something it likes. Because I had this one leaf I tried to hang here and I put damp Kleenexes on the ends of the stems to keep them from drying out as quick. So it worked really well with that leaf right there in the middle. But this one that was hanging it did not seem to work too well with. So maybe it's just when the leaves are laying down that it works. But yeah, so hopefully, hopefully this one will like the oak or something. I'm sure I can find oak leaves somewhere else than just the park. But uh, this one's kind of crawling on the willow. But anyway, guys, wanted to update you. Day two, and we've already got more hatching, so that's it's awesome. I can't wait to watch them as they grow. Okay, so this is day three of the caterpillars being out. So far, I think we still have three eggs, because we've got two back there, and then we've got one on that paper towel still that uh, still needs to hatch. Otherwise, they all should be out, so we've got 10 babies out right now. So far, the leaves of choice are oak and maple. So we've got just the basic maple leaves here, not that sugar maple. They haven't touched that one yet. The willow leaves they have not touched. This random plant, there was a, which I can't tell if this is a elm or if it's ash or anything like that, but uh, they one of them ate on a little bit of that, so I put some more back in there but you can see that the maple so far is the big winner with a lot of them. I have damp Kleenex, and I think, yeah, that one crawled off its leaf, or off the Kleenex. I have damp Kleenex that I wrapped, or damp paper towel as well, that I have wrapped around the leaves, and that keeps them good and wet. That one was kind of starting to come off for a second. So this one here, I think, is one of the ones that's older, because it's a little bit more developed now, as you can see. Which, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Yeah, so you can kind of see it's getting decent size. That's one of the ones that's eating on the oak. That's what it looks like. Put that one back in there. And then we'll get a little closer with these guys. You can see that one on the left is getting pretty decent size. That one there. 
We of course have two here, there's one over there, and then there's one here. I think there might be some randomly climbing somewhere on the net. I don't immediately see any, but there could be some also hiding under some of the leaves. But yeah, so that is the day three update. So we'll see how big. They're supposed to get really large. So it's going to be exciting getting to see these guys grow. Oh, here's one walking. That one's doing a little, little move there, looking around. I'm glad that they're eating on the leaves I collected because I had to go searching quite a bit to find some of these ones. <laughs> Okay, day three or four, depending on the age of the caterpillars, because some hatched on Mother's Day, which was the 8th, and some hatched the next day on the 9th. Still have three eggs not hatched. We have one baby that I'm assuming is dead. It has not moved. We've got some oak leaves, a different kind of oak, but I'm really hoping they'll still eat from it. I've got two different kinds here. And then a little bit different maple leaves. I think it's still somewhat similar. But uh, I didn't want to take any more maple leaves. I only took like three or four off of my neighbor's tree. And I didn't want to get caught taking leaves off their tree and them think I'm all weird or something. So I went to my parents' because they have a maple tree. And I just got some maple leaves off theirs. So I'm hoping they'll like them. But I'll pick this up real quick and show you guys. Here's some of the caterpillars and how big they have gotten. Zoom this in real quick. There. Whoop. Got some really cool little spikies on it. This one here. And then you can see the one that's literally a day younger than it is uh, still pretty tiny. But yeah, the caterpillars are doing very well. You can see this one it's right there. Very cool. So I've been really enjoying getting to see them grow. Every day I put in new leaves. Oh, we've got one right here that's really nice and large going to be volunteering in a couple days at a local nature center so I can't wait to take these guys with me. So anyway that is my either three or four update. Okay so today is either day six or seven depending on when the baby's hatched out. So we have ones on the maple leaf and then we've got ones over here on the oak leaf. So over here on the maple we'll probably take a look at some of these guys because they are bigger. And there's quite a few that are here on this one. We've actually, it looks like, got five. Looks like we've got three, four, five, six. We've actually got six of them right now visibly that I can see. So that is how they are doing. And then we'll look at these two. These two are the only ones that like the oak leaves. those are how the babies are doing. So yeah, doing pretty good for days six and or seven. So at least they're growing good and getting real nice and big. So hopefully we don't lose any more. Already have lost one, which there's going to always be casualties no matter what. But yeah, I'm hoping that I don't lose too many. So I'm hoping since they're in the butterfly net, they've got ample airflow. I also have a fan from my like window unit that's running in here that does keep the air moving as well as the actual air conditioner itself that's in the ceiling so or air duct but uh, yeah so anyway that is how day six or seven is going with the babies okay so day 10 update on the polythemus caterpillars and as you can see some of them are getting quite large and some have interesting different colors. Here's this one here. Getting ready to give them some new leaves. Looks like we've got one right here. That one looks like it's possibly going to be shedding soon. And we've got a couple over here. Looks like that one actually just recently shed. It's got that little brown shed behind it. So yeah, they're doing really good, getting nice and big. I don't know, yep, looks like there is one that is on this oak leaf. That 
that's how it's doing. See, now they're growing really good, which is very exciting. So again, that was day 10. Hey guys, today is day 12 or 11, depending on, since some of the babies hatched on Mother's Day and some hatched the day after. So here is how some of the polyphemus caterpillars are doing. I believe that we're down to eight, which I thought we had nine. Or I mean, I thought we had 10 to begin with, but we might not have, I'm not really sure. But here's some of the caterpillars on this one. I'm gonna put them in here so I don't stress them out too much. There we go. We've got this guy here, Mr. Chonky Boy. And let's see if we've got anybody on the leaf here. Nope, doesn't look like it. But yeah, I'm thinking that they're probably all on these leaves. Yeah, here we've got one right here. Oop. They're getting so big compared to when they first, first hatched. It's kind of crazy. There we go. I didn't want to focus. Put that back there. We've got one that's back here on the wall. Not really sure what he's doing. Probably getting ready to shed, honestly. And then we've got one that you can't see, but he's right here. And he's just chilling. So yeah, that's how they are doing on day 12. They're growing really well, so it's always good to see. Makes it exciting. Hopefully they will continue to grow well and we won't lose any more. So, Because I'd hope to be, be able to at least release at least five. That would be awesome. So, But yeah, so anyway, day 12. Okay guys, so today's update, let's see, we're at day, we're at one, we're pretty much at the two week mark. I will put on the screen the exact day we're at, but I'm looking and it looks like we're at least at day, we got seven, 14, oh we're at day 15 or 16 depending on. So I'm getting ready, I've got their new leaves put in here, so I found out that my neighbor actually has an oak tree, so I've been getting occasionally of course I just keep them in here so it's not like I'm stealing a bunch of their leaves or anything but we have one large oak leaf and then we've got maple leaves from my parents' tree so we've got two bundles in here so I'll show you these are the two that eat on the oak leaves they're doing really good hopefully my camera will focus it looks it's a little blurry let's clean that up maybe There we go. My camera lens was a little blurry, but here's what they're looking like. They're getting their quills in. As you can see, their little sharp pokey hairs. And then on here, we have some of the uh, age ones mixed to where you can see we've got, and you really can see those pokey hairs on that one there. But these are the ones that eat on the maple. And that's why I've decided to put two maple bunches in here is because they are all sharing that one and they're kind of getting a decent size so I don't want them to start uh, trying to eat on each other because I've had caterpillars in the past do that not this specific type because I've obviously never raised polythemus caterpillars but um, I don't want them to start doing that so I'm going to separate them and put half on that side half on this side and then of course they can move around as they please and then, of course, the two that eat on oak, I'm going to stick on that oak leaf. I'm hoping they've eaten on it before, but they really didn't uh, do too much eating on this specific leaf. They did eat on it, so at least that is a good sign. But uh, hopefully, I know that there are different oaks, and I've given them leaves from different oak trees in the past. So I'm hoping that they aren't partial to that specific type. But anyway, that is the day 15 or 16 update. So can't wait to see what how big they are once they hit a month old. <laughs> hey guys, so today is the day 21 update, and as you can see, some of them are getting quite large. I think this one that's on here is probably the biggest one, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up, but that there is probably the largest one that I have so far, and other caterpillars are kind of holding on to the leaves there. Yeah, these guys are doing really good. We sadly lost another one. I'm not really sure what uh, killed it. But we still have, I believe, seven. 
and they all seem to be interested in only eating on maple, so I went and got a crap ton of maple leaves from my parents' tree, so I'm getting ready to swap them out for new leaves. But I just want to do a quick update, show you how big they're getting and how they're doing and stuff, and I went ahead and just laid paper towel down so it's easy for me to clean out their poops and stuff instead of it just all collecting underneath the on the floor of the butterfly house so but yeah so anyway that's how they're doing on day 21 okay guys making another update so I'll put on the screen how many days it's been because I can't remember and my calendar I have in here is a dry erase board and every month I erase all the days and stuff so while I know these guys came out on Mother's Day and it is the 2nd of June I don't remember in my head how many days that is but uh, these guys are getting quite chonky they're getting very big, like just for reference. Actually, I'm going to see if maybe this one here I can kind of hold up so you guys can see just how big they're getting. And they're quite a bit bigger. Let me zoom out a little. Um, when they're stretched all the way out versus when they curl up like this and they're kind of almost de defensive posture. One just kind of chilling right there. We still have seven, so we've only lost two this entire time so that's really good. Um, the neighbor's tree had a huge branch that fell that happened to be a maple tree so I took a bunch of these leaves from the maple tree to offer to these guys and of course the rest are in the fridge so but uh, yeah so they're doing really good. Let's see if maybe I can pick this up and show them to you a little bit easier. Shake it real quick to make sure there's no poop on it. And they have some, it's kind of hard to tell, but almost like shininess to the back. And I'll kind of put an arrow, wipe my screen off, because it's kind of weird looking. <coughs> okay. Wiped the screen off, or the camera lens off, so it's not so hazy looking. But yeah, these guys are super cool very big caterpillars and they're not even close to being done growing <laughs> these guys are going to get really large so they when I was reading go two months as caterpillars before pupating into polythemus moths so that's just some of the caterpillars there so we're gonna go ahead and lay these guys back in here so anyway that's the little update and like I said I'll put on the screen how many days we're at because, like I said, I forgot. So, anyway, that will be the end of this update. Hey guys, so here's another update on the Polythemus caterpillars. I am extremely tired. So, I'm going to put on the screen, like I said I would last time when I did the other one, how many days old they are. There is seven in here. I'm pretty sure we had seven last time. So I had this branch that I got from my parents' maple tree. Everybody's eating maple leaves now. I don't remember if I mentioned that in the recent past. All the two that were eating oak leaves must have died. Um, there was nine, and now we have seven, so apparently the two that died were eating oak leaves. <laughs> I don't know, because everyone's eating maple leaves now, which makes it easier for me, because my parents' tree is named a maple tree. So we have two that are down here, and I tied this to the top, and then I have some bundles that I tied to the top as well. The biggest one is over here. He is huge. So just for comparison, that's my finger and that's his head. Like they are getting so big and it is awesome. <laughs> so and then we've got one that's hiding back here. He's pretty cool. They um, are way bigger when they are stretched out. So I'm gonna peek back here you can see there's a one of the big boys there I just put these leaves in these ones are uh, from this morning well this bundle not that one back there and then I'll try to show you the big boy because he he's uh, a lot bigger in person than he is looking here on camera if my freaking phone would focus okay there we go so yeah they're pretty cool they're getting so big and it's awesome. So I'll show you at least these two even though they're not the biggest ones just so you have an idea how big they're getting, how pretty they are. So that's 
what that one looks like. It's interesting because some of them are a more uh, whitish color. I don't know if maybe that means this one's getting ready to molt or shed or shed soon, whatever you want to call it for a caterpillar. But yeah, so. Because most of the time all of them are this green shade that's really pretty. So that's the caterpillars. And it's interesting because they have a little bit of that like purplish gray tinge right there on like their butt area. Um, and it's interesting because when they turn into moths, they do kind of have a purplish pink color on their wings or in the eye area of their wings. Also, for anyone who's curious, I use just regular old like sewing thread to tie uh, the plants into place and I just use uh, slip knots to tie around the actual like bundles and then I just did regular knots to tie those onto the actual stem itself. But uh, it's a pain in the butt trying to actually tie a regular old knot around a bundle so I just use a slip knot so all I have to do is slip it on there and pull on the longer thread and it tightens and then when I want to change it out all I have to do is literally pull on that thinner thread and it loosens and then I can change it out for another one so it's gonna be so much easier um, changing them out and stuff than having to like cut them, take them down, rehang them and all that fun stuff so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this update like I said on the screen it's going to tell how many days old they are so yeah it's it's just exciting so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this little update and thanks for watching this part okay guys so here is a little update on the caterpillars again finally got my phone figured out because I have a new phone so the video hopefully will look really nice and crisp and like the detail on this is insane like I can get so close like you can see the hairs on that caterpillar's face so now you guys actually get to see and enjoy some really cool details on these awesome polythemus caterpillars so these guys I want to s I'll put on the screen how old they actually are but they were born on Mother's Day and it is currently June 21st it's June 21st so it's been over a month that uh, they've been growing and we started out with nine and we're down to six because uh, they all had to be separated out like they are now because one of them bit one of the others while they were eating and uh, yeah that killed it so I separated them out to keep the ones that I had alive so this one here is another one super pre uh, super awesome and beautiful looking uh, really pretty red spots and the uh, goldish yellow hairs that they have on here uh, they're really cool looking actually it's been neat watching them get to grow up into like these humongous caterpillars and it's kind of crazy oh, this paper towels all over the place it's kind of crazy just how much they have grown in the course of like a month and like let's say a half or something like that it's just crazy so they're gonna be getting some more maple leaves and as you can see um, this bag was full and I've got a teeny little bit left so I'm definitely gonna to have to go by my parents' house tomorrow to get more leaves um, luckily their maple tree has plenty of leaves so but I just figured I'd show you just a couple of them you can see this one in here is getting real nice and big as well. Once they get closer to pupating, then, and you can see this one right here was just walking around, but now it's going and curving up. You can see how the hairs, and I'll put a little arrow, but how they look a goldish, shiny color on the very top of their backs, where those peaks are. But yeah, so this one I think is the only one that actually has some leaves left in there still that it's munching on. But yeah, so I figured I'd show you guys how the caterpillars are doing. I haven't done an update for a while just because of everything going on and them having to be moved out of the butterfly house into these containers so that they don't kill each other on accident. So anyway, guys, yeah, that is today's update. Okay, guys, so this here is my biggest caterpillar that I have of the polythemus. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. They are going through so many leaves per day, it's insane. Whoop. Come on now, phone. There we go. So, like, this guy is super cool. Like, just, he's beefy. He's so big. It is insane just how big these guys are. 
Now, of course, in my last update, I told you guys about how they're each separated. I'm giving everybody new leaves now. We've got my bag. Also, if you guys ever take care of caterpillars, you can harvest leaves and for like a week or so, which they don't even last that long around here. But for like a week, you can keep them in a plastic bag in like your uh, chill box or not chill box, but your crisper box for like where you keep your veggies. And then to keep them to where they don't shrivel up as fast, you can tear a piece of paper towel, dampen it with water, and wrap it around here. So real quick, I'll show you exactly how it is I do that. Okay, so this here is my mister that I have, so that's why I use to dampen the paper towel. So what I'm going to do is take this paper towel and I'm going to wrap it around this real quick and I'll come back and show you when I'm done wrapping it. Okay, so I wrap it around it like this and I kind of squeeze it on there. And then I just go ahead and drop it in here for this guy. And that keeps those leaves from shriveling up too quickly. I still have enough paper towel that I can do two more. Whoop. And of course these have ventilated lids because these are what I use for my baby crested geckos when like they first hatch to like their three month mark. So now all I have to do is move on to this one. He's still got some leaves in there, but I'm still going to give him some. This one here has a decent amount, so I'm probably just going to put one or two leaves. This container back here, I think that the caterpillar has actually started to pupate, which is really exciting, but at the same time very weird because the others aren't even close to ready. But this one has pulled up the paper towel and has completely sealed himself inside of those leaves there. So as you can see, there's kind of some silk that you can see that's attaching that leaf to the paper towel. And uh, yeah, so we've got our first one that has pupated. So this one is not going to be hatching till, it shouldn't be hatching anyway, till next spring. So once it gets cool out, sorry, let me zoom back out. Once it gets cooler out, I'm probably going to find a safe place to keep these containers outside so they can fully winter over. But of course they will be safely in these containers. I have in like an old 30 gallon fish tank I've been keeping outside that's got like spider, uh, garden spider eggs that I had collected from someone's garden. So I put them in this uh, fish tank that's laying on its side and I had like a bunch of rocks and like bark and stuff to support the egg case and the stick that it was on so that if they hatched they could go into my garden. So I'll probably put these containers in that same fish tank in the winter, um, which hopefully by then we'll be at a different house so maybe we can have a different space. We're looking at a house right now that has a garage so I'm really hoping that works out because then I could just keep them in the garage during the winter and they safely could winter over and they wouldn't hatch prematurely when it's warm in the house because that could be bad obviously. Um, I'm not really planning on breeding these guys, so I'm going to be releasing them. So anyway, that's my little update, and of course, like I've said in previous updates, there will be how many days old they are on the screen. So, and again, we've got six of them, which we're down to five now, because one has pupated into its cocoon. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update. Okay guys, so here's another update on the Polythemus caterpillars. All four of these ones back here have gone into their cocoons and we have just these two up here at the front that have not pupated yet so that is exciting like they have started to spin their cocoons and let me see if I can you can see how this one is all balled up right there and you can see a tiny little bit of silk which I'll set it down and zoom in a little bit for you but you can see there is some silk right there and I'm not going to disturb them too much because I don't want to bother them since they have gone into their cocoons and or making their cocoons. These two here in the middle are currently making their cocoons because these were caterpillars when I went to work this morning. Um, the two back there did it last week. And then like I said, we've got these two up here at the front. This one is on the smaller side compared to the other one. So this one may not go into its cocoon just yet, but this one here probably is getting very close. So it's pretty exciting, and the new house that we're uh, going to be renting has a garage, so at least in the winter I will be able to stick these guys out. Well, in the fall, um, when it starts to cool down, I will keep these guys in the garage so that they will be more in, you know, weather type temperatures but still protected so that they can winter over and they don't try to hatch too soon. Or if there's a cooler part of the house, I might keep them or something like that, or maybe in the refrigerator. It just really depends on the temperature. I don't want it to be too cold to where they could die. So 
But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, let you know how the Polythemus caterpillars are doing. Okay, so this is super cool, but one of the Polythemus moths actually hatched. I wasn't sure if they were going to wait till like spring or if they were going to come out now and like, oh, he's so pretty. He's so cute. He's such a little guy. He is very fresh, so I am not going to take him out just yet. I'll probably wait till it's evening time and take him out on the tree, but oh, he's so cool. I will definitely update when I release him. Definitely a male. For those who want to know, the males have the really big feathery antenna, which you'll get to see better later. But oh, he's so pretty. He's so cool, and we still have five more left to hatch. So exciting. Guys, he's so pretty. He's so soft and fluffy. He got in my hand for like five seconds. Oh, oh don't crap. It's time to go outside, little guy. Come on. Hopefully he's strong enough. Hopefully. He's probably just practicing. I might just let him practice flying. There we go. Look at how beautiful he is. He is so pretty. Very beautiful. First time ever raising these guys. So this is just awesome. Okay, well, time to uh, take him outside. Here we go. Hey, buddy. I don't want the birds to get you. Come here. Maybe I should wait till nighttime. Hey, guys. So, another moth has hatched. It has been two days since the last one. It's another male, which is kind of hard to tell right now, but you can kind of see he's got those feathery antennas. So, it's currently 725. It doesn't get dark here till about 915, 930. So, I will come back when I uh, can release this guy when it's dark enough. And this time I'm taking the butterfly house with me outside. Because last time I wanted to video getting to release the previous male that I released. And uh, I carried him through the house and he was trying to fly away the whole time. So I wasn't able to video releasing him. Me and my boyfriend were like rushing to get the door open so I could let him outside so that the cat didn't try to get him or anything. We had a little spider, whoop! A little jumping spider just jumped over there. But uh, yeah, so I'll come back later this evening and hopefully I'll actually be able to get a video of releasing one. But uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that I get at least one female coming out of the cocoons because if it's all boys, come on. Like, I, I hope that it's like half and half, or at least one or two females would be nice. But anyway, I will see you guys at 9.30.
<laughs> he got it figured out. Hey guys, so you can't really see him very well, but the third male has emerged in very recently because I just was in here about 30 minutes ago and he was not out. Very gorgeous, big, poofy antennas. And he's a big boy. So that's going to be exciting. A third one to get to release. I'm really hoping though that at least one is a female. It kind of sucks that so far it's just males that have hatched out. But either way, I'm just grateful to have any, obviously, hatch, but very exciting. It's been about three days, if I remember correctly, since the last one has hatched. We've got a few other moth projects coming up. So we've got a male and female honey locust moth that are in this little butterfly house. I actually just caught them today at work. And you can see all of the little eggs. Oh, well, you could a second ago. Well, all those little green dots that you see in there, all those, those are all just clusters of eggs. So I'll have photos on the screen of what they look like because I took pictures of them. And then a co-worker, those ones I caught myself, but a co-worker found this lovely lady, a female Luna moth, the summer form of course. And uh, she is also pregnant. So I'm hoping that she will lay me some eggs as well. So that'll be exciting. But anyway, I will see you guys this evening and we'll get to release this beautiful guy. Oh, boy. It's so cute. <laughs> so tiny. Oh, no, that one jumped. Why oh, he's so pretty? Oh, the other one's kind of coming. Oh, he landed on me. Oh, there it goes. Look at him, he flies. He landed on the grass. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here, I take the camera. Let me think. He's so pretty. Come on, baby. You must fly. Come here, mister. You have to fly. Come here. There we go. Oop. Are you going to fly? The other one's still chilling over there. Oh, you are so pretty. Hope he's vibrating his wings a little. Check on the other one. Oh. Oh. Are you going to go? He wants to. Oh. Come on, buddy. Scoop him up a little bit just so he can get some air. Oop. There he goes. Well, he'll figure out the rest. He's over there now. Let's see if the other one... Yep, there he is. Okay.
Come on, buddy. You are even bigger than the other one. Can you fly? <laughs> ah, that's so cool. I think he just landed on the fence. I'll go see. I can't tell. I gotta watch and make sure I don't step on the other one. Nope. Looks like he went over the fence. <laughs> that just leaves two more. This is so cool. Hey guys, so here's another moth. This is number five that uh, has come out of his cocoon. Yet again, another male. What the heck? Right now, I'm to the point where I wonder if the last and sixth one, if it hatches, is going to be a freaking boy. <laughs> so, another male to release this evening. So, woohoo! <laughs> I was really hoping the last two would be girls, but I'm going to be popping out all boys here. <laughs> okay. Look how derpy his little antennas are. Mega derp. <laughs> he is pretty boy. I think we only had one, though, that came out that actually was big. Oop. Okay, there he is. <laughs> But be like, where'd he fall? You're blocking the light, sir. <laughs> Whoop. Here he goes, I finally got him to vibrate his wings. Night mode. <laughs> get him to actually try to fly now. Oop. I'm not very good at being a moth. Well imagine if you were a caterpillar. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> I'll just try maybe sticking him on the tree. Do not trust a tree. Because I think he might have touched a spider web. <laughs> I'm just gonna whoop. Stick him over here. He can just chill until he's ready to fly. <laughs> hey guys, so I don't have enough time on my phone like memory left with all the videos from this series. So I'm not going to show releasing this last Polythemus moth. It's going to be the same as all the others releasing wise. So I figured I would show him to you. He is the last one. Somehow all six caterpillars that made it to pupating out as moths turned out to be males. <laughs> so it's like, what the heck? I was hoping for at least one female. This one is probably the tiniest so far. Look how tiny his little body is, but his little antennas are mighty. So yeah, that is 
the last polythemus moth. Whoop. And there he goes, down onto the floor. So I'm going to put him back in the butterfly house, and I'm going to take him outside to release him. But I figured I'd show him to you guys. And uh, in not too many days from now, I'm going to have a series starting on luna moths and on honey locust moths. So there will be that to uh, kind of entertain you guys as well when it comes to the whole raising caterpillars and releasing the moths. So definitely some more fun series coming up, but like I said, not enough space on my phone to be able to video this guy I like actually flying and taking off. I've got plenty of other footage from all the other ones I released. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this entire series. It started on Mother's Day and now it's ending on August 1st. <laughs> kind of crazy. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this entire series. If you actually have watched to the end after I've like edited and gone through and added everything, it's been such a roller coaster ride and it's awesome. It's just super cool getting to actually raise these and getting to release them and help contribute or contribute to the species, even though it's not like they're threatened or anything, but it's still really cool. So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and have a good rest of your day.